Hello and welcome to What The Math. Today's topic is scientific notation, also known as standard notation. So that's basically how we write numbers that are really, really, really big or really, really, really small. And the reason it's called scientific notation is because all the scientists always use it, but it's not just for science. There's actually a lot of other professions that use scientific notation, uh, even things like banks and financial uh, institutions where numbers are so big that we don't have names for them. So when a number is really, really big, when it's beyond billions and trillions, we have to use this notation. And you've probably seen it before. I'm sure you know what it is. Uh, when you do it on your calculator and you get a really, really big number, it will usually give you something like this. It will give you a number followed by a letter E or capital E. So it's like this or like this. And then there will be like a big number, let's just say 45 or uh, 76. So that's a really, really big number. What this actually means is this year uh, is the same as saying 3 times 10 to the power of 45. And this is... 3 times 10 to the power of 76. In other words, it's 3 followed by 76 zeros, which is a huge, huge number. And because we have no name for this number, we have to use this notation because we have to find a way to express it somehow. And it's the same with really small numbers. So sometimes when you do a new physics assi assignment or something that involves really small numbers, you may get an answer that may look like this. 1, E, uh, let's just say minus 6. And what this means is, so this basically tells us that this is an answer where 1 is multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 6. And let's just say this is like seconds or something. So you find, you're you looking for something that happened really, really quickly. So uh, 1 times 10 to the power of minus 6 seconds. And so you can actually rewrite this as uh, 0 followed by 5 zeros and then a 1 at the end. So if you count the numbers after the decimal point, there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And that's why it's to the power of minus six. Whereas if it's positive six, so times one E zero six, which is how your calculator would display it, this would be one times 10 to the power of six. And let's just say this is also seconds, or it would probably more likely be meters or something. But let's just say it's seconds. Uh, oh yeah, and this is also seconds. I forgot to put the unit. Um, so let's, let's see how much this is. So that's basically one followed by six zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. So essentially it's one million seconds. One million seconds. So whenever you're dealing with negative powers, you have to count from the decimal point. Whenever you're dealing with the positive numbers, you have to count from this space right here that doesn't actually exist, but it's a space between your initial number and your zeros. All right, let's try another example just to make it a little bit more clear. So let's try an example from your book. This is actually an example that deals with calculator notation. Uh, so whatever answer you get on your calculator, unfortunately, you cannot just write that down on your IB test. You actually have to convert it into either scientific notation or decimal points. So let's just actually divide this into two parts. And this is going to be scientific. And the one on the right side is going to be decimal, or basically the numbers that we are used to. Uh, so let's start with the scientific notation. And your calculator gives you this value. It's 6.7. I'm going to write it in red on the bottom here. 6.7 e uh, minus 2. 6.7 e minus 2. So let's start with the scientific notation. And this one is relatively easy. Basically, you write, you rewrite 6.7 and then you write times 10. And what's the power here? To the power of minus 2. So that's what this really means. So this right here, oops, I didn't draw this correctly. This right here is this. It's the same thing. Now decimals are a little bit more challenging. And uh, whenever you have a negative power in decimals, it's really best to start from the right side because you have a lot of zeros on the left side. So let's re rewrite 6.7 right here, or it's just going to be 6.7 actually. And then we're going to put an imaginary uh, dot right here. That's where our decimal used to be. So now we're counting down two negative powers. So the first negative power is going to be from here to here. And this is where it goes from minus 2 to minus 1. And then there's going to be another one right here that goes from minus one to zero. 
uh, and that's where we're going to stop. We're going to stop at zero. So it's six, seven, and then there's going to be a zero right here in between them, and another zero right here, and then a period. Period is at zero. So your answer for decimal notation is 0 0.067. And if you were to use uh, your calculator to try to convert these, it will give you exactly the same value. So it will actually give you this. And another way of looking at this is seeing that e to the power of minus 2 is actually, uh, it's basically like dividing something by 100. So just to double check, you can use this. You can do 6.7 divided by 100 and then check it on your calculator to see if you actually get this answer. So let's actually double check this. So we're going to do 6.7 and then divide it by 100 and our answer should be 0 0.067 that's exactly what we have now let's try something different let's try a different problem let's just multiply a bunch of numbers and get a really really large number and try to figure it out so let's just say we're going to do uh, 4 to the power of 7 times no not times here 4 to the power of 7 uh, times I don't know 24 to the power of 2 and let's see what we get oh no that's not big enough let's do something bigger let's multiply our answer which is actually second answer right here let's multiply our answer uh, by itself let's do it to the power of 2 all oh, right perfect so we got this number right here 8.906 e13 so what does that mean in scientific notation and what does it mean in decimal notation so let's try this out so that's the number we got from our calculator. I ignore some of the other decimals. And actually, in, in math and UIB test, it doesn't really matter how many decimals you have. In certain sciences, uh, it may matter. They may actually um, prefer that you have only two decimal points in your scientific notation. Uh, but for our purposes, it does not really matter. So let's try to translate this number into two things, decimal and scientific. So let's start with the easier one, the scientific notation. And I'm going to use this beaker to represent scientific notation. So this is scientific. And that's essentially uh, 8.906 times 10 to the power of 13. Now, we know that this is 13 zeros. So to turn this into, to turn this into uh, the decimal notation, all we have to do is write 8 and then follow it by 13, zero, 13 zeros. Now, some of these are not zeros, or uh, so like these are not zeros. That means they have to be counted into our um, total count. So they have to be part of the 13. So as soon as you start counting, basically try to take away one. So this is what I mean. So next number is nine. So that's 12 left. So this was 13. This is 12 left. So it'd be 11 left, 10, nine, eight, and so on. So 8906, now we have nine more zeros to go. So from now on, we can just keep writing zeros. One, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. And that is the number that is equivalent to this number right here and this number right here. So for positive powers, it's relatively easy. For negative, a little bit trickier. Let's try a negative again. So let's just change this to a negative. So now it's going to be 8906 e minus 13. So the, for scientific notation, we basically rewrite it again. So it's 8.906 times 10 to the power of minus 13. And for decimal notation, that's where it gets trickier. So now we have to start from the right side because we're going to be adding zeros to the left side. So first write your 8906. And remember that you're actually counting from over here. So this is where you're counting from. So this is going to be 13, minus 13 to minus 12, minus 12 to minus 11, minus 11 to minus 10. Let me just write these down. So this is minus 13, this is minus 12, this is minus 11, this is minus 10. Uh, and then, and then all the way down to zero. So there's a tiny, tiny zero right here. And this is where you start adding the zeros. So, so here's your first zero, second zero, third zero, and 12 more zeros, or basically 12 in total after the eight. And right when you write your last zero, uh, put a period right after it. So the 13th zero should have a period after it. So right here, there's a period actually. 
So if I were to zoom in on this, it's going to, it looks like this. 0, 0, 0, 0, 12 zeros. And then 8, 9, 0, oh, 6. So that's your number in decimal points or de uh, decimal uh, notation. And before I finish, I just wanted to mention one side note. And that side note is that the number that you put in the beginning has to be between 1 and 10. So it cannot be less than 1 or more than 10. So if you have something like this, 87, this has, and uh, the question is, write this in scientific notation. You have to rewrite this as 8.7 times 10 to the power of 1. If you have uh, something like uh, 0 0.87, you have to rewrite this as 8.7 times 10 to the minus 1, uh, time to the power of minus 1. So in other words, if the question has um, several choices for you, for example, it asks you which is not, which is not scientific notation which is not scientific notation and it gives you the following choices 4.7 times 10 to the power of 3 17 times 10 to the power of 9 1.1 1 .1 times 10 to the power of 1 and then finally 1 times 10 to the power of minus 1 and the question is which of these is not scientific notation so let's look at them this one right here is between 1 and 10. This one right here is 17. This one right here is between 1 and 10. And this one right here is also between 1 and 10. So the only answer that is not scientific notation is 17 times 10 to the power of 9, which should actually be rewritten, rewritten as 1.7 times 10 to the power of 10. So that would be scientific notation. All right, and that is it for scientific or standard notation. Hopefully this was helpful, and good luck to you. Bye-bye.